Faith TV with me, Isma. A Hindu priest in Brampton has been suspended following allegations of inciting violent rhetoric during a violent confrontation at the Hindu Sabha Mandir on November 3rd. The clash involved protesters waving Khalistani flags and escalated into physical altercation outside the temple during a consular event attended by Indian officials. The incident which has sparked widespread condemnation has heightened tensions in the region and added to the ongoing diplomatic strains between India and Canada. Here's a special story from Foresight's TV. erupted during a consular event co-organized by the Hindu Sabha Mandir and the Indian Consulate. Protesters, some waving Khalistani flags, disrupted the event, leading to fist fights and violent exchanges outside the temple. Videos from the scene showed people fighting with poles, creating a chaotic and unsafe environment for attendees. Brampton Mayor Patrick Brown swiftly condemned the violence emphasizing that most Sikh and Hindu Canadians want to live peacefully and reject such violence. In a statement, Brown also highlighted the importance of leadership in promoting harmony, urging community members not to respond to hate with more hate. He also stressed that law enforcement would take the lead in managing the situation, ensuring that the rule of law prevails. The Ontario Sikhs and Gurudwara Council also denounced the violence and Hindu Sabha Mandir President Madhusudan Lama suspended the priest accused of spreading violent rhetoric. The incident has garnered national attention with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau condemning the acts of violence and affirming that all Canadians have the right to practice their faith freely and safely. India expressed deep concern over the attack, with the Indian consulate cancelling several consular camps in Canada due to security concerns. This follows rising tensions between the two countries, which began after Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau accused Indian agents of being involved in the killing of the Khalistani extremist Hardeep Singh Nijjar. India rejected these claims, calling them absurd. The confrontation at the Hindu Sabha Mandir is the latest in a series of violent disruptions linked to pro Khalistan activities. Earlier attempts to disrupt consular events in Vancouver and Surrey were reported on November 2nd and 3rd. Indian authorities have voiced concerns about the safety of Indian nationals in Canada. As the situation continues to escalate in the wake of the violence, the Hindu Canadian Foundation shared a video in the attack claiming that women and children were targeted by Khalistani extremists. The Indian High Commission in India condemned the disruption, stating that any future consular events would be contingent on appropriate security arrangements. The commission also expressed disappointment over the fact that these violent acts were allowed to occur during routine consular work. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau addressing Parliament clarified that the violence was instigated by individuals outside the Sikh and Hindu communities, specifically targeting the ongoing tensions created by Khalistani separatist elements. He reiterated Canada's commitment to unity and the peaceful coexistence of its diverse communities, especially during the festive season of Diwali and Bandi Chor Divas. The violence in Brampton has drawn widespread condemnation, reflecting the deepening divisions within the South Asian diaspora in Canada, particularly over the issue of Khalistani separatism. The suspension of the Hindu priest along with the broader efforts of quell the violence underscores the need for community leaders to actively promote peace and unity. As tensions persist, both the Canadian and Indian governments are under pressure to address the security concerns of their respective citizens, ensuring that such incidents do not escalate further. The situation remains fluid with the future of diplomatic relations between India and Canada uncertain amidst these developments. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Foresight TV with me, Isma.